Uh, first of all, you talk, you talk about your company as the unique combination of Internet of Things and plants. Tell us more. Yeah, sure. Good morning. So um, Green City Solutions is basically a company um, dealing with biotech and Internet of Things to um, clean up this, the air in our city. So we have a special moss culture, which looks like that, and that has the ability to literally eat up air pollution from an urban environment. But to keep it alive in a city, we need IoT in the background to let it operate on its highest level. All right, so this moss that you showed us is part of this bigger uh, city tree system that uh, you guys have been highlighted here, this air, purifi air purification structure. Uh, talk about how this works, though, because you call it like a pollution eater with the equivalent of a capacity of 250 trees. Exactly. So what we do is we take this moss culture supported by the IoT and wrap it into a complete solution for an urban environment. And it looks like a four meter high vertical plant display, but not with plants, but the moss culture. And it has the ability to literally eat up the air pollution from the urban environment, attracting it by an electrostatic effect and converting it into its own biomass. So it has literally the ability to clean urban air on four square meters on ground as good as 250 trees. Okay, so how many of these do we need to really improve the air quality of, say, you know, where you are in Wan Chai in Hong Kong? I mean, how do you see this disrupting the industry? Well, we believe that this is going to disrupt the industry of um, environmental services for a city because till now we only have solutions who are tackling the problem of air pollution indirect. So you're shutting down the factories, you're shutting down the traffic, but there's no real solution out there. You put in an urban environment and it cleans out the air. So for example, for Wan Chai here in Hong Kong, you would need up to 170 units and for whole Hong Kong Island, you would need two and a half thousand units. That might sound a lot, but if you compare this investment to what cities spend to purify the air and to fight the air pollution, this is really an efficient solution. All right. Well, you know, your startup uh, was one of the eight that were picked by Infinity, where you are at the lab right now in Wan Chai. Uh, this 12-week accelerator program, well, tell us more about it. Uh, how has it helped you and what challenges do you still face? For us, the program with Infinity and Nest here in Hong Kong was a really, really important point to make the first step from um, Europe into the Asian market. So we got a lot of support, to, we got the, the right contacts and it helped us a lot to make the first sale here in Hong Kong happen as a showcase for uh, ongoing future business here in Hong Kong. So of course it's always crucial in this kind of urban environment to, to interact with the government because they are the main stake and, stay, um, and uh, the main uh, the main holder right, of the right. of the shares in fact about the city and environment so we think um this is crucial to speak to them and to make a good job together with the government who's keen to get solutions like that into the city all right so you say that uh, governments or people that you've been in contact with uh who else are you targeting for this product and any attraction so far Yeah, so we are um, tackling um, companies who are taking care about the environment, who are keen to get a solution to purify urban air, for example, for um, corporate social responsibility um, campaigns, but also for outdoor campaigns, because you can make um, digital advertising with our unit in a proximity of up to 50 meters. But also, of course, our main target group are governments, are mun municipalities, especially here in Asia, where you see uh, where you see the highest pollution levels worldwide. And uh, we got a lot of interest from the government from Hong Kong and also from Singapore. And we believe that this is um, a good reason to stay here in Hong Kong and um, to further go on with the business here in Asia.